Hello, this is Gus Baz, and in this video I'm going to show you how to bond two DSL lines using Tomato, MLPPP, and a Linksys router. Um, the steps for other routers are somewhat similar, although the process of installing a third-party firmware onto those routers may be different, and you'll have to consult some other documentation for that. In this case, I've got here a Linksys WRT54GL router. Uh, which I've reset to factory defaults and installed the default Linksys firmware on, so it'll be just like I am uh, just pulled it out of the box and I'm, I'm starting with a, a fresh router. So, the first step is going to be to download the firmware. Now, this is my computer here, and I've already connected it to the internet uh, by plugging the modem right into it. Um, so this is kind of a typical setup that somebody who isn't using a router might have. Um, so the first step is going to be, you're going to go ahead and launch our web browser here, and I'm going to go to our website, fixppp.org, f-i-x-p-p-p.org. Now we're going to go to the download page and download the latest unstable build, uh, which despite the name is actually, ironically, the most stable build. Uh, unstable is just a development term for in progress, and uh, the unstable build has been out for so long that it's been really well tested by everyone. You're going to need a tool such as uh, WinRAR or anything else that can extract a 7-zip archive. So I'm going to go ahead and extract that. Now the next step is going to be uh, just disconnect from the tech-savvy internet because we don't want that interfering. I'm actually going to go ahead and delete the connection so it doesn't pop up and bother us. So I'm, just, I'm using Windows 7 here by the way. I'm going to go into my uh, network uh, settings here and I'm going to go ahead and delete the... oh, I've got to disconnect first. I'm going to disconnect and delete the tech-savvy connection so it doesn't bother us again. Okay. Now the next step is going to be to plug everything into this router here. Now uh, I'm just going to go ahead and unplug from the computer the modem. I've got three Ethernet cables here. Now the two blue ones are my DSL modems and this one, beige one, is my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and plug these in to the router. Now, one blue one is going to go into the WAN port, which is that first port on the left here. Sorry. It's hard to do this with one hand. Next, I'm going to plug in a blue one, the other modem, to any other switch port. And I'm going to go and plug in the... Uh, beige one into another switch port. Let's make sure these are all plugged in here. Okay, so now they're all plugged into the router. You'll note I've already hooked up the power and that's turned on. So we're just going to now put our router on the side because as far as the physical setup, that's completed. So I'm just going to put that on top of my computer. Now, we're going to install Tomato onto the router. Now, by default, uh, your router will be 192.168.1.1, and I've uh, set up my computer's uh, Ethernet uh, connection to automatically obtain an IP address, which is usually the default setup. So it's going to ask you for a username and password, and the default Linksys username and password are admin and admin. And we're going to log in, and you're going to see here this is the default. Linksys uh, firmware. So I'm going to go into administration here and I'm going to go to firmware upgrade and I'm going to go ahead and select the uh, software that we just downloaded, Tomato. Now you're going to see a bunch of files here and for this Linksys router it's WRT54GL so I'm going to pick the one that matches the name of my router and I'm going to go ahead and click Upgrade. Now this is going to take a while, um, so while it's doing that I'm going to tell you that it's very important that you do this from a wired Ethernet connection and not wireless because if anything goes wrong with this procedure you can uh, brick your router and that's the term we use to say you've turned your router into a useless brick uh, or a paperweight. Now for most kind of scenarios where something goes wrong uh, with an upgrade, it is possible to recover them, it's just that some of those procedures can get a little bit in-depth uh, and I'm not going to go into them in the video. 
Um, just suffice to say that uh, disconnecting from the router when you're in the middle of replacing the operating system on it uh, is generally not a good thing. So we avoid using wireless uh, so that we don't accidentally have some kind of interference that causes a disconnection. Uh, so this is going to take a few minutes. Um, and then when it's done, you'll see a screen like this, Upgrade is Successful. Once the router is done rebooting, it's going to take us to the uh, Tomato interface. Here we go. So this is the default interface for Tomato MLPPP. Uh, you'll note that there's, uh, there's no IP address or internet connection set up. Everything is completely uh, default and blank here. So the first step is going to be to go to the, uh, the basic page, which is where all of the internet connectivity uh, stuff is, is set up, and I'm going to go and pick PPPoE, that's the kind of connection tech savvy uses. Now I'm going to type in my username and password here, and I'm going to type in my password, which I've put on the side here, so let me just grab that. for the speed here. I'm doing this all with one hand. Okay, so now I've entered my login information, and on a normal router, that's all you need to do. However, for multi-link, there's one extra step. You're going to see this drop down here. It says multi-link PPP, and you're going to want to set that to multiple links. And now we're going to scroll down and click Save. And that's basically it. I have now just set up uh, multi-link bonding on my DSL lines. It took uh, about seven and a half minutes for, uh, for me to set that up, even while holding the iPhone to record this here. It gives you an idea of just how simple it is to do. Uh, so the router will take a, a few seconds to save, and then if I go to the status page here, I'm going to go to status overview, you'll see right now one of two connected, which means one of my two DSL lines has already finished connecting, and in a few seconds it'll change, hopefully, if everything is working, to two of two connected which will Im indicate that both DSL lines have been connected and bonded together. So we're just going to give this a few more seconds to let it get connected. I'll give you a bit of a closer view if possible. I should also note that during this period, um, the, as soon as one line is connected, the DSL connection, the internet connection is actually usable. You can go and surf the web as soon as the first one connects. Um, it's just that until the second one connects, you won't get the extra speed. So now you'll note that two of two are connected, and that took a little, a little bit of time. Uh, and to show you that I've got two connections connected, I'm going to, using that word a lot, I'm going to actually go to a, do a speed test here. I'm going to use my favorite one, Speakeasy. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Chicago, Illinois test because that's closest to tech savvy. So you'll just see this here is connecting, and you'll see, even though I only have 5 megabit uh, normally, um, with two connections, I'm getting 8.5 megabit per second, which is double the speed that I would normally get. And on the upstream, instead of my normal connection speed, which would normally be about you know, 640, 660, I'm getting almost double that. Um, so with that, you can see I've bonded my two connections, and I'm getting double the speed. So that's really all it takes to set up Tomato MLPPP. It's just a few minutes to do. Uh, all you have to be able to do is plug it in and click a few buttons, and anyone can do it. Um, so thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and if you have any questions, you can uh, ask about multi-link PPP in the tech-savvy forums on DSL reports, which is probably where you were linked to this video. Um, if not, the, uh, the link to that forum uh, is going to be in the, uh, the information on the side of this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.